Hey friend, today I want to share with you five applications that impressed me during 2024. So I will keep using them for sure next year, and I believe that you will love what you will see in this video. The first one is Bananotate, an amazing application, and for sure you have seen on my videos, when I start drawing uh, boxes or um, arrows pointing to something, and they usually have a lot of color, a lot of people come back in the comments and they ask, what's that tool? So in the beginning of 2023, I was using a different tool, but now I'm using Bananotate, that is an application built by the amazing Amihai, that is a .NET YouTuber that for sure you know him. If you don't know him, make sure uh, that you go to his YouTube channel and uh, follow him, you will not regret it. And Amihai has built this amazing application that takes the application that I used to use to a different level. So Bananotate will allow you to do those things that I usually do. They are simple, like let's draw an error, let's um, bring some boxes, things like that. You can uh, pick those colorful themes that I usually use. And it's an amazing tool. But it's not only that. You can go further, okay? You can bring text on the screen, you can um, do things like circles, you can see here a quick video uh, from Hamihai where it's showing a lot of stuff that it can do. Things like that it can do and I usually don't, don't use them because mostly because I'm not used to them and I need to start um, investing on it in order to, to be able to quickly remind that I can do that uh, on my videos is things like those zoom effects that you can see here you can do things like quickly mock up uh, something that you are seeing like um, snipping something moving it it's amazing okay there's a free tier if you have a, a mac os so if you install it you have access to a, a good set of tools because bananotate has a ton of tools so when you run bananotate it will open these two um, panels okay you have this panel with tools and this right panel as well and the cool thing is that you can hide those panels and or having them on the screen there's a ton of uh, shortcuts that you can learn to use the tool but as you can see there's a lot of tools that you can use for example uh, you have the tool for a circle for a, a field circle so you can do stuff like this you can pick another set of colors for example um can bring squares you can type on the screen bring errors so this is amazing is amazing if you usually do presentations is amazing on um, a web call where you are showing your screen and you want to mention to everyone that okay this is the point that i'm talking about uh, you can draw a, a, an error or a, a box like this one is always cool to point on to something. It's an amazing tool. I highly recommend it. Uh, thanks, Amihai, to bringing this tool to life. And I will keep using it in 2025 for sure. The next one, likely you already know it. It's Grammarly, but it's Grammarly Pro. I used to use Grammarly, the free version. And let's face it, it's amazing. If you want to do the grammar check, is really good but this year for the first time i decided to subscribe to the license for grammarly pro and i have to say i'm blown away it's it's amazing for someone like me that english is not his native language um i often write things in a way that is not the best okay and i need to reread it a lot of times to to keep improving it to edit it to to refine it so I know that uh, I need to put a lot of work on on those texts. And Grammarly has been one way to show me a lot of uh, things that uh, are not correct, but not only in the uh, grammar parts, but mostly in the way that I write. So let's do something that I might regret in the future. Let's go to my blog and pick something a bit older. And now let me grab the blog post. So if I copy that and I paste it on my Grammarly, 
you can see I have a good score. 92 is, um, is a good score, but notice the number of uh, things that are mentioned here on the right. From things like improving clarity, improving delivery, so it goes a step beyond the, the one that it, the free version goes and is really worthy. And another cool thing is that, for example, if you use something like ChatGPT, for example, imagine that you go to ChatGPT and you ask for what is ASP.NET and you are writing a, a blog post about what is ASP.NET. So you might start with this version and you copy this, you paste it there, you start reworking it, and eventually you are not sure how good it is. If um, you change it enough, it still sounds like AI or not. That's, that's an amazing tool to use. You click there, it will uh, analyze the text. It will also suggest things like references. So it's an amazing tool. I know it can be a bit expensive, but it's something that if you are not a native speaker and you write a lot of text, it will pay off, I can assure you. And also something that you can do is to keep an eye because I have seen this uh, price at least for the year subscriptions uh, on sale. So eventually you can find a way to cut down that cost, but it's something that is quite worth it. Another one that I start using this year is Proton VPN. A VPN is something that I don't need to tell you how valuable it is. And I used many different VPNs along the years, uh, usually looking for the one that was best quality compared to price, because these things can be expensive. And I can tell you that this is the first one where I feel most secure. I don't know if it's part of the feeling of the Proton uh, team, because if you don't, if you are not aware of uh, Proton email, that is also a service from the same company, uh, is something that is heavily focused on security, okay? It's uh, security first. And now they have the VPN as well. And if you look into the pricing, you will also see that often you'll find it on sale as VPNs do. And by the way, if you have a license for Proton, the email, maybe you can get a good deal to have all the, the offer, all the products on the suite from the Proton team and you will have the VPN included as well. So let me show you the application. Okay, welcome to Proton VPN. As you can see, it's quite simple. Okay, you can go to the map and find the country that you want to connect to, or you can simply say, okay, let's go to a quick connect. You have here two profiles you can create your own, like um, uh, the fastest one or a random one. For example, let's go with a quick connect that way. He knows that I'm in Portugal, so he's connecting my home to the Portugal. It does this cool thing here on the top where you can see the, the flag of the country where you are connecting. For example, let's move to the UK, since I know that many of you are from the UK. Okay, UK flag. Let's go to my Brazilian friends. Okay, Brazil as well. So you still have here a huge list of countries that you can connect to, and the application is extremely stable and quite performant. You also have the application for your smartphone as well, and I think you can install it up to 10 devices uh, with a single license, what is amazing. So I've used a lot of different VPNs along the years, and this one is the one that I, so far, have the best experience, okay? So far I didn't have, uh, any moment where I felt that the VPN was getting in the way, okay, was uh, becoming a problem. Sometimes you have those moments where you can't connect to the internet, you don't know why, and then you realize it was the VPN. This is the first one where I have a really solid connection. Uh, I trust this thing and it feels secure. Rectangle is one of those applications that should be on the OS, okay? If you are on Windows, obviously it will mock us. Uh, we that have uh, Mac OS, because it's hard to understand why Mac OS doesn't have a proper window management. Okay, I know that we have mission control and things like that, but it's not the same thing. And Rectangle is a small application 
that is open source and you can install it and it will allow you to do things like this. For example, if I want to split my screen and on one side I want to see the site for a rectangle, I can simply do this. I drag my window against the corner of my screen and I have it there. And I can do the same to the other one. Awesome, isn't? Then you have multiple docking areas as well. You can put it on the middle, for example. And the other thing is that rectangle allows you to go into this option and quickly do things like this. Let's move to the top left or let's use the last two thirds of the screen. And as you have noticed, you can also use shortcuts for that. You don't need to use your mouse to do small things like that. So if you usually need to move things to the right and things to the left, you just need to learn the shortcut. So for example, I can quickly go from one to another using my um, keyboard only without needing to use the, the mouse. So if you are on macOS, this one is mandatory. And last one is Cursor, a code editor that has been built with AI in mind. And this one blown me away this year. And I decided to subscribe to the paid license and I have been using it a lot. Not only for .NET projects, but mostly for other things that I do like um, front-end things, like um, generating some scripts, working on scripts or working especially on those languages where I'm not uh, most proficient with. So if you ask me, do you still use JetBrains Rider? Yes, I do. Do you plan to stop using JetBrains Rider? No, I don't. But um, I have been adding um, cursor in, into my life a lot. Uh, I have noticed that I use VS Code quite rarely nowadays. And on the cases that I used to use VS Code, often I will rely on cursor. So quick demo on the types of things that you can do. Um, if you have used GitHub Copilot, you know this experience, but let me tell you that um, once you start using cursor, it will go one step further. For example, I want to add to my blog uh, my link to um, Blue Sky. So for example, I could come here since I have all my links here and I could do the common K that will that will open this um, small window where I can type and chat with the um, cursor. And I will say, okay, um, add the link to my blue sky account. Okay, paste the link. I will. I can pick a different um, model, a different uh, LLM that I want to use. I want to use cloth and I will submit. So you can see you have multiple models as well. I know that this is a simple thing to do that will take less than a minute to do it manually. Copilot is more than capable of doing it. But once you see the types of things that cursor can do, and I have a video for you right here, you will be blown away.